Snoop had gotten into an altercation verbally with this kid, Philip Waldemarian, and so they had been arguing a few different times, and I think it was a little gang taunting going back and forth. Later on, Snoop and his bodyguard, they were driving down the street in his Jeep, and they went back and forth with this guy. And allegedly, he was trying to say something to them. He had a gun, and you know, he was going for it. And my bodyguard reacted, you know, like he was supposed to do. Snoop's bodyguard shot and killed Philip Waldemarian. I was traumatic and didn't know what to do and, you know, who to turn to. I did receive the phone call about what happened. We didn't turn Snoop in right then and there. Snoop was in hiding for a little bit. I wanted to turn myself in because I didn't want to be, you know, looked at as somebody who did a crime and running. You know, I'm innocent and I want to go turn myself in and let them know what happened. Death Row's known all afternoon that they're going to have to turn Snoop in, but they don't because that same week were the MTV Music Awards. This is a promotion pre-booked for Doggy Style. Hi, I'm Kurt Loader. And I'm Tabitha Soren. Welcome to Opening Act, the MTV News Pre-Video Music Awards special. Let's see who call was that. Whose call do we think that was? That was a shit call. It wasn't a Snoop decision. It was what you were supposed to do. No, I took him because I knew one thing. For me to make this dude the most hottest artist in the world, people got to see him. So I know we take him up as a chance, but at the same time, it's his job to be an artist and promote this stuff. And then when they come to arrest him, it's my job to get him out of there. Me and Snoop rode together to that show. Went through all the, the photos. The cameras went crazy. Next thing I know, here are these detectives coming out looking for Snoop. We've got Sheriff's Department and LAPD and, and everybody outside. And Shug made an agreement. Let's do this like dignified. Let's not make a perp walk out of it. Dr. Dre and Snoop Doggy Dog. Yo, Thanks for what's being up? here, guys. What's 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 up? Let him go on, and that then he would quietly go out and turn himself in. Here's Dr. Dre, Snoop Doggy Dog, and George Quinn. <laughs> Imagine the natural pressures of having the spotlight on you like that, having the whole label's momentum on your back. He knew his freedom might be at stake. And uh, the winner is in vote. Snoop turns himself in for first degree murder. Immediately, Shug gets him released on a million dollar bond the 10 p.m. house arrest. I'm like, damn, then you got a murder? Then you, you out? Shug made shit happen. Shug has this reputation he's building, creating this impression of, of kind of invulnerability. Snoop was all over the news when this story broke. It was completely a tragedy because Snoop was our guy that we were banking heavy for to be successful and represent Long Beach. I was scared for him, you know? A kid is dead and they told him I had something to do with it. Possibly I can get the death penalty for this shit. Kind of messed Snoop head up. You gotta remember, you just came from these sidewalks out here and not having nothing to having something to now you got a murder case. The possibility of him going to jail forever and Everything we worked for hard for is just gone, just blown out the window. I mean, it was a scary time. 